Well, this story, oh my goodness, we're hoping that we can get more information. A $10,000 reward is being offered for information on the person responsible for shooting a dog several times in King Sessing. And they believe that this isn't the first time. Yeah, there's Alexia. She was found on the porch of a home on the 1200 block of South 54th Street last week after being shot in the face and shoulder. She was rushed to the uh, Pennsylvania SPCA to get help she needed. Her leg had to be amputated, but she's recovering, um, learning to walk now on those three legs. Sadly, a second dog was later found shot and killed near where Alexia was found shot. It really seems like these cases are related. So a generous donor is now offering up to uh, this reward to get justice for both these dogs. And Maddie Bernstein's with us from the uh, SPCA Pennsylvania brand. Uh, hi, Maddie. Hey, guys. How are you? Hi. Good. How is Alexia? Am I saying the name right, by the way? Yeah, you're saying it beautifully. She's doing really well. Um, as you can see, I'm, she's got some itchies where her sutures are, so I'm yeah. just trying to, um, to scratch her face and prevent her from licking her suture line. She's normally wearing a cone, but we wanted to put her game right. face on for this segment. <laughs> and talk about a little bit the ex injuries. I can't imagine, you know, what Alexia has been through. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely a really shocking and traumatic injury, and clearly she's bouncing back beautifully. It looks like she was shot what, on the nose, the snout there, the bridge of her nose. Yeah, so she has an injury right on her muzzle here, and yeah. then she had an injury to this front left shoulder. So a bullet went into her shoulder, and you just couldn't save mm -hmm. that leg, huh? That's right, yeah. Unfortunately, the bones that were struck by the bullet fragments Shattered. were just too far gone to save, yeah. Yeah. Well, who, whose dog is it to begin with? That's a really good question. Uh, we would definitely like to know. She was picked up as a stray, so unfortunately, we don't, um, haven't had anyone walk into the shelter no to chip. claim her as their pet at this time. So unchipped. Yeah, um, unchipped. So sh right now, she's still a stray, but she's definitely ours, <laughs> maintaining in our hearts. Is yeah, she a for sure. little is that girl. A what is it? What kind of breed is that? Yeah, I would probably list her as a pit bull mix or a yeah. bully breed mix. And the Where interesting you know thing is, because you mentioned that she was found and brought in, and that was on Almond Street, mm -hmm. um, there's reason to believe that they may think that there's more dogs who are being hurt by whoever this person is, or there might be connections to other um, injuries or things that we've, horrible things we've seen happen to dogs. Yeah, I think um, that's definitely an option that's being explored by the investigators. I'm not sure that we have any evidence to that fully at this time, but the investigation is definitely underway, and they're not ruling out any options. So, and that's because there was a dog that had been found, um, yeah, that had and yeah, shot and killed, not far from where Alexia was found, and that's why they're saying they want to find this person because there could be more animals that are being harmed. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, so what's the prognosis here? I can, I mean, she's walking. Yeah, she's walking. She's doing fantastic. I mean, her prognosis is absolutely bright. Um, she obviously has some sutures that she needs to recover from. She's still on some medication yeah. for pain and some antibiotics to prevent infection. Um, but once she is like clear from those things, then she should be ready to move into her forever home. And so how will that happen? I mean, she'd be up for adoption eventually? Yeah, as long as she's not reclaimed. Um, by the time she's ready for adoption, then we would place her up for adoption to the public. And we, I'm sure we'll do an announcement to let everyone know and all her fans know that she's ready to rock. Maddie, <laughs> do you want to adopt every dog you care for? <laughs> <laughs> um, I do, but I have a really small house. So unfortunately, that saves me. You. Well, you mentioned all, and her, unfortunately. <laughs> you mentioned all her fans. I mean, a lot of people are drawn to her, right? You've yes. seen what kind of um, feedback from folks. Yeah, I mean, I think um, I was speaking with someone yesterday, and they, I think, said it perfectly in that her spirit just really warms our hearts. Um, and mm. so I think for that reason, she's really spoken to a lot of people, both here in the shelter in person and also across the media and across the public. Um, she's just got these little puppy dog eyes that kind of, like, bore their way into your soul. So sure. <laughs> she's hey, Maddie, definitely thanks. A, a super sweetheart. Uh, yeah, you. my pleasure. Say thank you to Alexia for us. Thank yes. you. <laughs> of course, she says, I gotta go scratch. <laughs> I mean, the poor thing, they could put the cone back on. Imagine having a cone on, you can't itch a scratch, or scratch an itch, whatever it is. One of the two. Scratch an itch. Scratch an itch. Oh my yeah. God, that drive me nuts.